So our next international youth ambassador enjoys being part of debates, playing the guitar, and discussing hypothetical business ideas with her friends. She would like to make a difference in the world by promoting kindness and equality. She hopes to lead by example, starting from her current role as head girl at the RD World School in India. She is grateful for a good education and for this platform to reach out to others. Here reaching out to you, this is Krishita Desai. Another long day ahead. Let's see what we have in store today. Okay, tutor at five, science project, weekend assignment, book report due tomorrow. Oh no, it's my day to walk the dog. I have to work on my script for the play. How am I gonna do all of this? I only have three hours. This is what a day in the life of a teenager looks like. Most of you might think, hey, that's better than paying bills and dealing with an intolerable boss. I agree. But let us not undermine the stresses of teenagers today. Studies show that today's teens are more prone to encounter stressful situations than teenagers 50 years ago. Development is progressing at such a rapid state that the fierce competition we face is not only unrealistic and unbearable, but also extremely unhealthy. The older we get, the more the severity of the stresses we face. By the time a child is 15 years old, the stressful situations not only arise at school, but also exist in the family. Teenagers today have to deal with peer pressure, unrealistic expectations, not only from parents and teachers, but themselves. The stress of completing work on time and always submitting quality work. Self-image, fitting in, bullying, friendships, attraction, bad parenting and broken families. The other day, I visited my neighbor, whose daughter Jenna is 15. We were conversing about Justin Bieber being the greatest singer of all time, just a normal day. She suddenly broke down and cried. She started telling me about all these problems that were overwhelming her. Her school, struggle with friends, additional classes, parents that wouldn't understand her. And above all of that, the boy she liked, liked her best friend. This sounded normal. Everyone has their fair share of stresses. What was not normal though, was her reaction to these situations. She had started to starve herself on days and binge eat on others. She was harming herself through sleep deprivation and had recently started to abuse her body by inflicting pain on herself. This was not something I could overlook. What could I do though? I was only a friend, a minor, not someone at a position to change things or make them better for her. Could I really help? I realized that the first thing I could do to help her was to make her realize that she was reacting in an unhealthy manner and she had to accept that she was stressed. Okay, now by show of hands, how many of you live moderately stressful lives? Okay, let's say never have I ever. If the statement I say applies to you, raise your hand. Never have I ever binge eaten because of stress. Never have I ever compromised my social gatherings because I could not handle my stress efficiently. Never have I ever 
bitten my nails when stressed out. <laughs> okay, so clearly all of us have showed symptoms of stress sometime in our lives, just like Jenna. So how do we make the most of what we have? What if we successfully convert the negatively stressful situations into a beneficially stressful one? What if Jenna had tried to be optimistic about her situation? Hey, Trishita, what are you saying? How can someone make a breakup into a beneficial situation? I'll tell you how. Taylor Swift, Adele and Lady Gaga did. They wrote songs about it and earned millions of dollars. Okay, what about going bankrupt? Maybe one needed to learn the value of money and be reminded of humble beginnings. What if someone dies in the family? Grieve, cry out, take your time, seek help from friends and family, but move on. We need the moon to appreciate the sun, the storm to appreciate the calm, the heart breaks to appreciate love. If only we learn how to be optimists instead of defeatists, immense is the potential. If only we see how beautiful and vast this world is, immense is the potential. If only we seek help when we need it. Immense is the potential. I urge you today, if you are undergoing stress, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Reach out to your loved ones and seek help to deal with it efficiently. If you identify anyone in need of help, your own Jenna, do not undermine yourself. Everyone has a purpose. No matter who you are, what age you are, what you do, you can help. You matter. You can change the world. Thank you.